The off-season gets shorter and shorter, and that's where events like the BioSteel Training Camp come in handy. Under the watchful eye of training gurus Gary Roberts and Matt Nickel, a whole slew of NHLers have come out to hone their skills. Well, you know, we put in such hard summers and, uh, you know, train, and uh, this is a chance for us to get on the ice and uh, with some great competition. You know, obviously, uh, guys are all from different teams and going back to camp and uh, are looking forward to a big season. So this, this gives us a little, big, a little bit of a jump start and, uh, you know, a way to get ready and, uh, and get in game shape. You know, last summer was my first summer doing it, and you know, I really thought it was kind of like a training camp before the training camp. I mean, we uh, work pretty hard off the ice, you know, track and everything, uh, as well as weights, and then we go on the ice, uh, you know, with NHL players, so it's uh, going to make you better. And while skating is important, today's athletes also hit the field in order to push themselves in different ways. Well, I think there probably was a point in time where it was a, a new concept. There was something that was, you know, starting to catch on, but I think pretty much now I would be shocked to know if there's any you know, NHL or professional players that aren't partaking in, in serious organized dryland training. Long-term relationships also help the players, and Montreal's Mike Camilleri has his kindred spirit in nickel. I've known Mike for almost 12 years, actually, uh, and I can remember there's a time where I used to be at the uh, track and field center, and I would see this, uh, this kid, you know, who was, you know, training like a track athlete, and then he'd be in the gym lifting like a, like a weightlifter, and and, and I, I, I was always trying to figure out what sport he played. And then finally somebody told me he played, he played hockey, which I thought was really cool because at the time there weren't a lot of hockey players that were training the, in that style. Maddie's become uh, my guru as far as uh, training, uh, nutrition, my body in general. I really, uh, he's earned a lot of my trust that way. And, of course, there's the BioSteel drink itself, which the players swear by. Really the thing I like about it so much is it's a consistent level of focus and energy. I can rely on. It's not a, a sugar or caffeine spike because there's no artificial stimulants in it, so I don't, I don't get a spike and a crash. I just get a nice, consistent level. Make one up in a, in a big ball of water before our, our workouts, have it during the workout, after. Um, you know, it's kind of religion in, in the gym with Gary and, and with Matt, but it's great. It helps with recovery. Um, it prevents lactic acid buildup, which is a huge thing. Off-season camps allow NHLers to train with in-season foes, adding the elite element needed to keep everyone sharp. It's fun, it's interactive, it's also we're playing a lot against each other out here and battling against each other as well. So it's, uh, it's a competitive sport by nature and um, everybody can shake hands in, in the hallways, but as soon as you get on that ice, it, it becomes ultra competitive and, and, and a lot of battling takes place. The summer seems to get shorter and shorter every year and um, whenever you get a chance to skate with, with you know, the guys you battle against every day, uh, you really get to meet them on a personal level. They're all great guys, but it, it's good competition. You, know, you can't take the competitive nature out of the guys once they step on the ice or they're in the gym, so you're always pushing each other. It's usually in a fun way, but you know, camp's right around the corner, so it's good to, to get these skates in with guys that um, are at your level and, and share you know, that common goal is you know, to win a championship in the NHL. So friends now, but enemies come fall. That's when the real competition kicks in. From Toronto, for THN.com, I'm Ryan Kennedy.